Okay, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate a wind velocity um, on your CRP5. I've posted the question in the description, but I'll read it out anyway. What we have is we've been given a true track of 095 degrees, our TAS of 160 knots, our true heading of 087, and our ground speed of 130 knots, and it wants us to calculate the wind velocity. Um, with questions like this, um, whenever you see something like this, the first thing you've got to look for is the four things you need which are here. So you always need these four to calculate your wind velocity. So you need your true track, you need your heading, you need your TAS, and you need your ground speed. So we know that our true track is 095, our TAS is 160, our heading is 087, and our ground speed is 130 knots. Okay, so those are essential. If you don't have all four of those in the question, um, you'll need to calculate them using the other information that's provided. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get our CRP5, obviously on the wind side. We know that our TAS um, is 160, which fits on the low speed scale of the CRP5. So we use this side of the um, slider, the inside the CRP5, and put the center dot of our CRP5 over the one. 60 mark, like so. So this dot here always sits over our TAS. What we will then do is select our heading. And you see under the top here it says true heading. You should never have anything but the heading under this point. So rotate your CRP5 to 087. Absolutely essential you put there. Um, heading under there, not to the track. So we've got 087 at 160 knots, true airspeed. Okay, what you now need to do is work out the difference between your heading and your true track, which for us in this question is 8 degrees. And because our track is greater than our heading, it means that it'll be 8 degrees to the right. So you'll see here on your CRP5, you've got lines that mark 5, 10, 15, and the marks in between them. So what we need to do is measure across from 5, so we go 5, 6, 7, 8. So we know that on this line we've got to make a mark. The question is where? So what we'll do is on the 8 mark, we'll go down to our ground speed, which is 130 knots, staying on the 8 mark, and just mark a dot there. Okay. then all you have to do is rotate your CRP5 until that dot sits over your centre line take the slider all the way down to the bottom which is where we measure our wind so it sits on that line there and then simply read off the heading at the top, which I can see here is 057, and the speed there, which is 38 knots. So our wind velocity is 057 at 38 knots. Simple as that.